Hey everyone, me again. Welcome back to X and Media X. And if you're new, hello to you too. My name's Amelia and we film all kinds of videos on this channel really. Everything from beauty to fashion to travel and we throw some lifestyle vlogs in there as well. So if you like my face, if you enjoy this video, click that subscribe button and stick around for a while. Today we are doing my updated millennial friendly makeup routine. So I don't know about you guys, but I have seen quite a few TikToks and Buzzfeed articles circulating at the moment bashing us millennials for the way that we do our makeup amongst other things like skinny jeans, the word doggo, hashtag girl boss, and avocado toast. And it was quite a depressing day at 32, nearly 33, when I realized that we were starting to get a little bit outdated and uncool. I knew it would happen, I just didn't think it would happen this soon. But you gotta remember, we were brought up in the 90s with Smash Hits magazine every two weeks, looking at still teeny tiny images of makeup tutorials, um, and just dealing with all the blue eyeshadow that we had in our bedrooms. We didn't have YouTube tutorials telling us how to contour when we were 12, but when we did finally get hold of the YouTube tutorials, um, we kind of learnt what to do and we just sort of stuck with it. And it served us well for quite a long time. However, I don't know about you, but as I've gone into my 30s, my face shape has definitely changed. It Tell me it's not just me, I'm sure it's not just me. And obviously our skin changes the older we get as well. So it's about time that we had a little bit of an update with a few of these things. And I have been learning, again, <laughs> from other YouTube tutorials, from TikToks, and I've picked up a few things that really do work. So I'm gonna share them with you guys now, and hopefully, a really simple tutorial. I'm not a professional makeup artist, this is just how I do my makeup, but you guys have been so lovely over on Instagram and on my weekly vlogs on here um, and asked for this, so here we are. It's been a while since I did a makeup tutorial, but I'm ready. <laughs> Skincare is on, we're ready for makeup, and my first tip that I want to share with you is less is more. You might think that the older you get, the more makeup you're gonna need, but actually I found that I tend to be leaning more towards lighter foundations, CC creams, instead of Estee Lauder double wear that I used to cake on. Um, and the less makeup that you have on, the less chance you've got that it's gonna sit in any of those lovely fine lines and wrinkles. So the foundation I use these days is actually this CC cream from IT Cosmetics. It's amazing, so, so good. And I literally just use like one and a half pumps, teeny tiny. Yes, my makeup brushes do need cleaning, don't at me. And I buff it in using this buffing brush from Zoeva that I've had for ages and it just works really, really well. Lightly buffing it into the skin um, and covering up any sort of uneven patches. But the reason why I like this CC cream is it's actually really good coverage for a CC cream and super moisturizing. Like I really do feel like it gives you a lovely, lovely glow. So depending on what my skin's doing, what time of the month it is, how many spots I've got, dark circles, I might not even use concealer as well. But when I do, I go for the It Cosmetics Bye Bye Under Eye, which is the best, the best. <laughs> Best concealer I have ever tried. It's just so creamy, it doesn't crease, and a little goes a really, really long way. So I tend to just put on like literally the tiniest bit, and instead of drawing the the big triangular under eye things that we used to do, less is more. Once again, I just try and concentrate it in the darker parts of my eye. So where the, the dark circles are, right underneath and in that corner, if you can see. And I just kind of like pat it in and then beauty blend it to finish. Next is contour, and this is one of the biggest things that I've updated with this makeup routine. So, you know how we were taught the big three that goes under there and then down there, often with bronzer as well. We're shaking things up a little bit. We're changing the product and we're also changing the placement. So bronzer, the warmer tones, I now keep for literally just bronzing up parts of my face where the sun would have hit. And I've gone back to an old favorite, the Kevin O'Quan contour palette, which is more of like an ashy gray tone, an ashy gray brown. So we used to pop it, probably, you know, we used to suck in and sort of put it in the middle of your cheek right there. What that actually does is it actually pulls your face down and especially when your face has started to move south like mine has, you wanna be popping it a little bit higher to create the illusion of everything going up. So actually, I pop it now probably a lot higher about right there, just under where the cheekbone actually is. Um, and it makes a big, big difference. So I tend to take it right up into my hairline and then take it sort of 
there, but that is so much higher than where we used to put it, which was about there, right? Um, and I'm not putting loads on. Again, I used to have like these really big thick stripes, <laughs> but now I tend to just use this brush, which again is from Zoeva, the Petite Defined Buffing Brush, and I sort of just use that sharp edge to create a really defined line because we're gonna buff it in and it's gonna spread out a little bit anyway. I also take it underneath my chin um, to kind of hide the beginnings of my jowls, which have started and that's rather depressing, but you know, we move. So I tend to sort of almost carve in <laughs> a new chin line that's got a really straight line instead of slightly going down for where the, the beginning of the jowl is. And I do still pop a little bit just in the top corners of my forehead as well to kind of hide <laughs> those bits there and send those to the back. So it's, it is, it's similar to the three that we used to do, but just a little bit more precise and more updated. And then I just use the main part of this brush um, to blend things in. On the jawline I blend down because I don't want that bleeding into that sort of like pale part there. But on the cheekbone I blend up because we don't want to be dragging it down. That's what we're trying to avoid by putting it a little bit higher up on the face. So I just tend to use circular motions but all upwards. And again, a lot less product than what I was using before. Okay, so bronzer, classic. Benefit Hula Bronzer, flipping love this. I use the brush that comes with it, and again, a little bit on there, not too much, and just on the tops of the cheeks, just to bronze things up a little bit, on the bridge of my nose, because that's where I always catch the sun. And my next super simple technique is the placement of our blush. So before, I was smiling and popping it on the apples of my cheeks, but that can also bring everything down. So what I do now is I've literally just changed it to sit higher up, towards the outer corners of my eye and up into the brow bone instead of on the apples of the cheeks. And for me, I think that's like an instant, it just like pulls everything up instantly. Onto brows, and again, it's a less is more thing. We're no longer doing the whole block brows and really tracing the shape of our eyebrows. Again, we want to lift the face up as much as possible. So instead of following the line of my brows straight down, I tend to draw them out towards my temple and it sort of, again, lifts that eye area because my eyes are definitely getting more hooded the older I get. So I use a really pointy brush. It's the winged liner brush from Zoeva. I must have got these in a kit because <laughs> they're all matching. <laughs> I draw a new line that kind of goes out a bit more rather than down. See how I like, almost draw a second line in and then fill that in. And not only does that give you thickness in the outer corners, which I don't have, but it just reshapes the way the eyebrow falls down the face. It's not being dragged down as much as it used to be. And again, I'm not colouring the whole thing in, I'm just sort of using the really sharp edge of this to sort of mimic hair strokes. I'm a bit boring with my eyeshadow recently, so I'm not gonna go into too much detail with that, but I tend to just take a warm brown and go all over the lid. And my next tip is how to do your eyeliner with hooded eyes. So what I do now is I try and do it as much as I can with my eyes open and looking forward into the mirror. And I draw my first edge. And again, it doesn't have to all be done in one stroke. You can just sort of like sketch it out. But once I've got my straight line, if you can see here, I then look forward and just draw a line from the outer corner that connects to my lid brushing over the droopy part and I will explain the rest in a second. Just literally skim it over so it connects with your eyelid and if you sort of look down a little bit you might see that that line actually isn't that straight but it doesn't matter it will look straight when your eyes are open and you're looking forward and then what I do is just sort of fill in that little triangle. I don't mind stretching my eye when I do this because it doesn't distort the shape, it just helps you sort of fill it all in. And if I want to bring it up, I'll take it a little bit further up my eyelid. And you can see that when I look forward, it's a pretty good winged liner. Yes, when you look down, it's a little bit geometric looking, but 
most of the time people are going to be looking at you when you're looking straight at them that's a really good tip for nailing winged eyeliner when your eyes are starting to droop a little bit and i also now only put mascara in sort of like the outer thirds of my eye as well because again that sort of brings everything out brings it up instead of sort of creating that almond shape when it's all over your lash line and this mascara by the way is amazing i've had this for a couple of months now and it's so flipping good i thought it was just a gimmick but it's not it's just it's just the best <laughs> really separates your lashes and i love it so i tend to just sort of focus it in the outer corner um and it just sort of creates that lovely sort of fanned out lash bit of highlighter i'm using the same one from my blush palette which is the hot fix palette from nars i'll leave everything down below and again just on the real top corners of your face keep everything high i suppose that's like the main tip just keep everything high on your face a little bit on the end of your nose but not too much we're not the tin man last but not least lip color i tend to go for a nude shade really wearable shade and i tend to wear it every day to be honest and slightly overline uh, just to give you a little bit of a fuller lip and that's it our millennial friendly everyday makeup this is how i tend to wear my makeup most days to be honest i might go a bit crazy and change up my eyeshadow but it's pretty much exactly the same i just feel like these little tips even though they're very small changes make a big difference to how it all looks on your face at the end and i'm here for it and although i'm no makeup guru i really hope this video has helped you out in some way or at least you've enjoyed it and it's made you smile if it has please click that thumbs up button because that helps us youtubers out and if you are new click subscribe join us we've got lots of other videos for you to watch but as always thank you very much for watching and i'll see you again soon